I'm quilt artist and fabric designer Amanda Murphy, and I'm excited to introduce you to the new Bernina 216 Plus on the studio frame. It features the same high quality Swiss engineering for which Bernina is known, and its ease of handling and intuitive interface will make you feel right at home. The Q16 16 inch throat space is perfect for larger quilts, but it's also great for those with limited space options, especially in combination with the studio frame. And the studio frame also fits the Q16's bigger sister, the Q20. Domestic quilters will appreciate the front handling. It's so much easier than quilting from the side. And the studio frame is also perfect for those who want to upgrade from a sit-down model. No passionate quilter should miss the opportunity of being able to quilt on a long arm, on a frame, because the weight of the quilt is taken off your shoulders and you are simply driving the machine with your hands. And as you can see, this machine is so light, I can push it with just one hand. The Q16 Plus may be a smaller machine than its big sisters, the Q20 and the Q24, but it has the exact same capabilities. That means you can add optional automation, you can do ruler work, you can even do pantographs along the back of the frame. One of the things that I love about the Q series is that you can manage everything from the front of the machine. You can thread the top thread, using a simple thread path right from the front. And you can also wind the bobbin thread from the front. And even better, you can wind the bobbin thread as you quilt. Here's a tip. I like to buy my thread in pairs so that I can wind a bobbin thread anytime I run out without interrupting the quilting process. I love the large ergonomic display. It makes it easy to see things and make adjustments. And the Bernina engineers were genius. They took a feature that is normally on domestic machines, numeric thread tension, and they put it on their long arm. So if I had any tension issues or I wanted to use a specialty thread, I can adjust the tension right on the screen. And I can save special thread tension settings for specialty threads for future use. It makes it so easy. I love how you can customize the Q-Series to fit you. So you can change the angle of the handles. You can put them up and down. You can also change the angle of the handlebars. And I change these settings pretty frequently as I quilt to help eliminate fatigue. I also love how you can program the handle button. So I'm right-handed. I keep my power button on the right-handed side of the machine, but if I was left-handed, I could change it so that it was on the left-hand side of the machine. And I do that simply by touching a button on the bottom of the screen. I really appreciate the enhanced visibility that is given by the LED lighting. It makes it easy to quilt, even at night. I also love the fact I don't need any extra tools to change the presser foot. I can use any Bernina free motion foot. Also, I can use domestic needles, which is a real advantage. The Bernina stitch regulator is built in and sensor driven. It has three modes as well as a manual mode, which means it provides perfect stitches at any length, at any speed. To change the stitch length, I simply click on the screen. So I can change it down to one stitch per inch or up all the way to 24 stitches per inch. The different stitch regulation modes give you many options when quilting. BSR1 is a regulated stitch with an adaptable idle speed. BSR2 is a fully regulated stitch. BSR3 is a shortcut for a basting stitch and you have the option of one, two, or four stitches per inch. And finally, there is a manual mode. The Bernina Studio frame is extremely easy to set up. Many of the parts come pre-assembled. It took me just two hours from start to finish 
with a little help from my daughter. When I first saw the studio frame, I was thrilled to see how sturdy it is. Like the pro frame, it features two inch rails. And that means you, the rails won't bend when you forget and you lean against the frame or when you tighten the quilt just a bit too much. I also love how customizable it is. So you can set it up at different heights. I obviously am vertically challenged, so I've set it up at the shortest height, but I also have set it up on casters so it's easy to move, and that's an optional feature. You can also set it up at different widths, so that makes it perfect for small studios. I have it set up on the 10-foot width because I wanted to quilt some bigger quilts once I'm done with this quilt, but you can easily set it up at five feet for smaller spaces. Just like with the pro frame, you have four rails. The take up rail, the dead bar, the back rail, and the top rail. I love these newly designed precision ratchets and the bungee holders too. That helps keep your quilt nice and flat when quilting. And the back of the frame features this great flat area for laying a paper pantograph I can't wait to try one. Thanks for joining me on a tour of the new Bernina Q16 Plus on the studio frame. I can't wait to see the projects you make. Happy quilting. Bernina, made to create.